Hi guys, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you my top 10 self-help, self-education books. If you haven't already, please subscribe and tap the like button if you've enjoyed this video and feel free to share it with all of your friends. Okay, let's get into it. Book number one is Rich Dad Poor Dad from Robert T. Kiyosaki. I love this book. Now this book is basically teaching you and guiding you about financial education and I really really love this book because it's explaining how you can remove yourself from the rat race of being in a nine to five and become an entrepreneur um, or a businessman or a businesswoman. Um, I, I love this book. This is ever since I was younger um, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to be my own boss and I never wanted to end up in a nine to five. I started off many years ago being a dance teacher and I used to teach dance, freelance dance classes. So I would teach in youth centres, in schools and from that I was earning £25 an hour and I was only 18, 19, 20. I got a mortgage, I got a car, I did so much but after a while, you know, the noise and everybody else trying to give me the best advice that they could, they would tell me, you know, you need to get a proper job, you need to get settled and blah, 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 blah. Um, and I just wish that at that time I would have had a book like this to refer to. I ended up taking my life into a completely different direction. And, you know, I have no regrets. It is what it is. But if I could turn back the time, this is the book that I would read. And so I have got this book for myself and I've been reading it and following the tips and the guidance that he offers. I've also got it for Lachey and Jeray. Um, I want my kids to be entrepreneurial. I would love entrepreneurial. I would love for them to run their own business, be their own boss. And so not only is this a great book for me, but it's an amazing book to pass down onto Lachey and Jeray. And inside, I've even wrote a little note to them because I'm excited. I'm going to let them, Lachey is nine, so I think soon I'm going to let her start reading it. Ideally, I'm going to let them read them um, when they're both in high school. But with the mindset that my daughter has now, I think that she will be soon, she'll be ready to read this book. It is an amazing book. It's a must read. I highly, highly recommend it. Book number two is Rich Kid, Smart Kid. Again, it's from Robert Kiyosaki. Now, this is kind of following on from Rich Dad, Poor Dad, except this one um, says, give your child a financial head start. This is especially for parents, and it's him giving advice to us parents about how to guide our children. Unfortunately, at school, our children don't learn about financial education. They learn what the coins are, they learn how to spend money, but they do not have financial education lessons. I don't know why, I think it's crazy. So that's why I think it's important for us as parents to teach our children financial education and how to have financial security for your future. I am so excited for the children to read this. I love this book. Robert also has loads of other books, but out of all of them, I feel that these two are the books that I was drawn to. So I highly recommend this one as well. Inside these books, I always highlight the parts that I think are most important what resonate with me so i mean i've read this book i don't know how many times inside you can see all different colored um highlights depending on the amount of times that i've read it and i always have a highlighter to hand when i'm reading these books i normally read my books on my train journey to work during my commute to and from work or i read them in the evening once kids are in bed i get into bed and i'll read a book or any free time that i have i'm a really big reader and i just love non-fiction style books like these that you can learn from and I just think this is such oh it's a must read it's I've read this about 15 times along with Rich um, Rich Dad Poor Dad I've read that so many times I can't even tell you but I'm just it's a really good book I highly highly recommend this book. Continuing on with the theme of financial education book number three is this one and this is Rich Habits from Thomas C. Corley. I ordered this one from Amazon. Most of my books I get from Amazon. And this one I came across, I think I was watching an interview somewhere and someone highly recommended this. So I thought I'd give it a buy. And it's The Daily Success Habits of Wealthy Individuals. And this is a, it's a non-fiction book, but it's written in a fiction way. It has a beginning, an end, and the middle section is where you can 
apply the techniques yourself. So you need to put pen to paper and follow his 10 simple steps. And they are amazing. You know when you read some books and they always say, okay, I'm going to give you some stuff to do and you can follow it through. And when you're doing it, you just it just feels long and you just haven't got the time to do that. Well, this is quick, easy, straight to the point, and it really is helpful and useful. So I highly, highly recommend this book. It's a quick read. It is, you can read this in three hours. Um, if you're a quick reader, then two. I just love it. It's straight to the point. It's so helpful. This book is for those that may be going through a rut, feeling really stressed out with life, you're looking for guidance, this book is so helpful. Even if one or two things only um, apply to you, I just feel like it's for everyone. Um, it, it's just great. Book number four is Rich Kids, again from Tom Corley. I read the first book, Rich Habits, and I was so excited about it that I, I just wanted more. So I got this one and it says, how to raise our children to be happy and successful in life. I'm a single mum, parenting is the most important thing to me, my children are the most important thing to me in the world, I live for my children and I'm striving to be the best mum that I possibly can be and so I normally read books that are for myself but then if ever the books that I read and I think they're amazing, if they have anything to do with children then I'll tend to buy those as well and that was why I bought this one. It's a non-fiction book again written in a fiction style it really gets your imagination going however it's full of facts and just so much helpful advice that you can follow really really good and it also this book also talks about this um but in a different style it's not repeating itself but this book is actually part of this book um so if you can have two of them out of all the books if you can have these two together that will be very helpful. But oh, absolutely love this book. I've read this, I don't know how many times, I've lost count. Um, all of my books that I read, I've had them for years and I tend to read them over and over. I'll go through a phase where I won't read any of my books, I'll be back on the bookshelf, I'll just be living life. But as soon as I find myself feeling a little bit stressed out or if there's any self-doubt kicking in, if life seems to be getting on top of me, I'm worried about anything, I go back to my shelf, grab all my books and I feel great again. And this one is one of those books. I think, I don't like to say that I've got a favourite because it depends what mood I'm in, but this one, I always feel so excited after I've read it. It's one of those where I think, oh, uh, shall I read it again? And then I do, and then I'm so excited that I did. So I highly, highly, highly recommend all you parents out there. I think this book is so useful. Highly recommend it. I think, I think you should get this one. Book number five. <laughs> I promise this is the last one from him, but I love the last two books so much that I had to buy one more from him. And this is Change Our Habits, Change Our Life, again from Tom Corley. <laughs> um, he is really good. He really is. Change Your Habits, Change Your Life. The first four books that I've told you about are all about financial education and financial security. This one is going more to your mindset and how changing your habits, basically, as it says, changing your habits can really change your life in all areas of your life, not just financially. Um, it talks a lot about your brain and how just certain triggers can set you off in one direction and set your emotions off in one direction and how your whole day can plan out just by the habits that you have and just by changing your habits can create a completely different outcome um, to your day and to the rest of your life. This book is just amazing, I can't explain, it's another one of those that after you read this book you feel so much better. I cannot wait to give this to Lachey and Joey to pass this one on. Um, it's just a fabulous book. Book number five is Ask and It's Given from Esther and Jerry Hicks and it's learning to manifest the law of attraction. Now anyone that knows me knows that I'm a huge believer in the law of attraction. If you believe you will receive. That's the one motto that I am consistently saying to my children. If you believe you will receive. I really don't know how to express this. This is absolutely a life changer. I've had this book for about nine years now. I've read it numerous amounts of times. It is crazy. However, the first few books were very easy to read. This one, 
you have to be open-minded when you read this book. I feel like if you're not a spiritual person, if you are very new to this whole self-help, mindfulness way of thinking, then you may struggle at first when you read this book. One tip that I would say is skip the introduction. I feel like some people found the introduction to be a little bit doo -doo 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 -doo. they just, they wasn't keen and it can put some people off. So I would say skip the introduction and go straight to part one which is here and it just says things that we know that you may have forgotten which are important for you to remember i think if you start off from there and you miss out the intro then you'll get into the book a lot easier than if you read the introduction um it's all about positive thinking how your mindset really can change the direction of your life i swear by this book i think it is absolutely amazing in the nine years that i've read it i've read it over and over and as usual, just like um, what I told you before, I've highlighted so many different sections within the book. I'm excited for Lashane Dre to read this. We talk about the law of attraction all the time. So my children know a lot about the power of your words. There's power in the words that you speak daily. Be careful about what words you choose to use. Lachey actually has the children's version. I bought Lachey the law of attraction for kids which she reads regularly, which I highly recommend as well. This one is just, it's just amazing. I'm super excited for Lachey and Jure to read this book. And the reason why I've highlighted so many things inside is because those are the parts that really resonate with me. So I'm excited for Lachey and Jure to read it and then see how I was excited about a particular part and then they can read about it and we can all talk about it together. I believe in being positive. It is not easy. It really isn't. But this gives you useful tips and advice. It's not a case of read this book and you're going to be happy for the rest of your life. It's not like that. It gives you examples of how you may be feeling and how it gives you different options of what you can try to change your mindset and to put you in a better mood. The longer you think thoughts, the stronger they become. So if you're thinking negative for a long amount of time, you're going to attract negativity. However, if you're thinking positive thoughts for a consistent time, then you're going to attract positive things into your life. It really does work. I know it's not for everyone. I know not everyone believes in this. But after you've read this book a few times, you will slowly start to realise that actually what they are saying is true. Asking it as given is amazing. I love this book. If book number seven, I don't actually have to hand. It is The Secret from Rhonda Bine, I think you pronounce it that way. I can't remember, I can't remember. Her name's here, Rhonda. Now, this book is very similar to The Law of Attraction. The Secret is a shorter version of The Law of Attraction and it's written in a slightly different style. I've read that book numerous amount of times, but I normally get this book from the library. Because I have Asking It's Given, I never really felt the need to buy The Secret, although I have read it a few times, I just never felt the need to have both of the books and that is the only reason why I don't have The Secret. However, I felt like it was important for it to be a part of my 10 recommendations to you in this video because for those that don't quite connect to The Law of Attraction, I feel like The Secret is a slightly better way to, it's got an easier way to get into it. Um, asking it's given us a little bit more it's longer and to some people can seem a little bit far-fetched that's how I found feedback when I've spoken to people um, so the secret is another version that you may find easier to understand and easier to relate to I personally prefer the law of attraction and that is the only reason why I haven't bought the secret however when I do feel the need to read the book it's normally usually at my local library so I have a feeling it should be for you so most of these books that I've mentioned hopefully you can find them at your local library but if not then I've ordered most of my books from Amazon. Also, book number eight is called I Can Make You Happy from Paul McKenna. Again, this is a book that I never bought because usually when I pop to the library, it's always there. So I've never felt the need to go out and buy it. It is a really good book and I highly recommend that one. It's easy to read. It has simple steps for you to follow. And just again, to slightly alter your mood and make you feel happier within yourself. Um, and again, I had to mention that book here for my top 10. Book number eight is this one. Sorry guys, I meant book number nine. This is What I Know Now, Letters to My Younger Self. And this is from Ellen and I can't pronounce her name. I'll pop it here. Um, 
This one is slightly different to the others. So we've had books about financial education. We've had books about positivity and your mindset. This one is a girl, is a girl's girl type of book. It is a list of successful ladies and they write letters to their younger self. This was a birthday present of my friend Justine and she bought this for me. Not my last birthday, the birthday before. And I've only actually read it once. When I was going through my book collection, I forgot about this one. So I'm absolutely going to read this again. If I could write a letter to my younger self, there is so much that I would tell her. If I could, 20 years ago to my teenage self, I would tell Leone, believe in yourself. That, that was my biggest one. You are good enough. Believe in yourself. You always make things happen. You always find a way to make things happen. Oh, there's so much that I would, my letter will be pages long. It's, <laughs> if my letter was in this book, I mean, the book would be all these books put together. But yeah, this it's just amazing. It's a proper nice girl or girl's book. It says, extraordinary women share the wisdom they wish they had when they were younger. And if ever you're feeling, I don't know, in a bit of a rut, you're feeling down, feeling frustrated with life, just know that even the most confident, successful ladies still have their doubts and insecurities. But despite all of that, they push through and they continue on with whatever their goals are. Last but not least is book number 10, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This is going in a slightly other direction. This book is talking about how to communicate with people, whether that be your friends, your family, your colleagues, other mums. This is amazing. The other books are easier to read. This one is quite an old book. It's based, it's set in the 1800s. This book's been around forever. This has been edited and upgraded so many times with a few changes in there but it's still quite old and the examples that it gives are from way back in the day. The first time I read this book I struggled a little bit I couldn't quite get into it it took me two or three reads to really get into it but once you do it's it's amazing it teaches you how to think from the other person's perspective I think sometimes if you're so passionate about what it is that you're doing you just try to aggressively get your point across and it's hard for the other person to hear Whereas this gives you so many examples and so many tips of how to communicate with others. I find it great for parenting. I find it great for um, dealing with difficult people. And I love, I'm a girl's girl and I love to give my friends advice. And I try to advise them as best as I can. Following the strategies and the tips from this book, I found it really helpful. And I'm able then to be an amazing friend. And it's just... I think everybody needs this in their life. Like I said, it takes a few reads for you to really get into it. But once you do, it is amazing. So those are my top 10 self-help, self-education books. I really hope that you found those useful. And once again, please subscribe and tap the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any of these books, which books you prefer to read. If you have any that I haven't mentioned that you, I mean, I've read loads of books. These are just the top 10 that these are my go-to books, but there may be some that you met, that you mentioned that I haven't actually read yet. So I'd love to hear all of your suggestions. So again, please just comment down below and I'll scroll through all of your ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.